Listen, there will be question from each and every. <coughs> we will be using oscilloscope. So this device, this one, do you see that? I'm just showing you. <laughs> this one is called oscilloscope. This device is called oscilloscope. And the job of this oscilloscope is just to display the wave shapes, frequency, amplitudes, and and sometimes you may have uh, uh, that other index you might calculate. That, that is another issue in the communication sector. You can observe the noise signal, right? So the three most important things that we will observe, that is first, wave shapes, frequency, and amplitudes. Okay, let's see what are the these different things. What is wave shapes? Listen, wave shapes, that means the, the, the power, once you connect this uh, oscillator with the power, how the power looks like. I told about alternating current, how alternating current looks like. It looks like this, how? High, low, high, low. Right, so that's how it looks like. But this is a sinusoidal wave shape. This wave shape can be of rectangular. Once it is rectangular, it will look like this. OK? Yes. And then this wave shape can be even triangular. You understand? Yes. So these are the different wave shapes. Our job is today to observe these different wave shapes. First, we will connect this power with the oscilloscope, and exactly this power is sinusoidal for now. And in, in the electronics, mostly this wave shape is used. And then the electrical power supply, they use this unit. So again, uh, the power supply unit is also convert this form of wave shape to this form supply. This is triangular. That is also used in different uh, applications. So listen. So we'll see today this different wave shape. This one will be connecting, and we'll get this one directly. And after that, we will we'll change this wave shape, the same wave shape, to different other formats. Okay, sir. For a little bit explanation, what is the benefit of the shape? Benefit is okay. How do you uh, imagine what how the current looks like? How this one is actually looking? AC is looking like up and down. Uh, up and down. So that's what that when you are floating it somewhere in a visual shape, that's the same. You understand? But sir, why rectangular triangle? <coughs> okay, okay. That's what makes a uh, thing like here the values is changing different way. Right now, let's see. Here in this signal, the value up to this it is one. Computer runs at how? One zero one zero, right? Zero. So from here it is up to one. And then suddenly drops to zero, zero. right? Okay. And after that, minus it is one. again minus one, and like this it, it will it will go on. But for this, it is not exactly one. One is here at in this point. But before that, that one reaches. I mean, gradually. It was uh, not one. It was maybe half. Point something. It was uh, point something. Up to this point eight. Now it's uh, again coming down the uh, gradual way. So that's not the gradual, but that's the gradual. You understand? For now? Getting continuous value. Yeah, continuous value. That is what it is called uh, um, uh, instant value, instantaneous current. Because this value of this instant. But here, in this instant, you will get the same value of that instant as well. Right? So that is why uh, in digital electronics, we will have this form of wave shape. Good it? Next to that is amplitude. Amplitude is the maximum value. Maybe for this, this height is the amplitude. Once I increase amplitude, that means this height will increase. OK? It will be like this. Once we know the amplitude, it will come down like that. You understand? Yes. Listen, next four to five experiment will be based on this. Rectifier, half wave, full wave, filtering. Clipping, clamping, and then uh, amplification. These are six experiments will be based on all this information I'm giving. So this is important. You understand? Today I'm giving you idea and we'll show you the wave shapes mostly. And then if possible, we'll, we'll go for one complete experiment. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. And next to that will be 
frequency. So there might be question from each and every that how rectangular wave shapes look like, how we can make the sinusoidal wave shape of that, and then uh, if I'm uh, okay, what is frequency? What is amplitude? If I'm increasing amplitude, then what will happen? How the wave shape would look like, right? So there are different ways of, of displaying that. Okay, listen. So frequency is the number of cycle per second, right? If you look at this, if it is one second, after this it is one second, then how many full cycles? <coughs> one full cycle, two full cycle, and half, right? So the frequency will be 2.5 cycle per second, right? Cycle per second. So listen. So 2.5 second divided by one. One second. So that means 2.5. 2.5 hertz. Now, if I increase the frequency, that means this cycle will increase. Maybe increasing frequency, 50 cycle comes over by one second. That means 50 hertz. That means the cycle is increasing only. The time will remain same, right? So increasing frequency, that means within the same time frame, the number of cycle increased. And if we, if we decrease the number of cycle, if we decrease the number of cycle, that means frequency decrease, right? So higher level frequency is indicating that you are getting something at a higher rate. A lower level frequency is indicating that you are getting something at a lower lower rate. You understand? Okay. Um, okay. Now, okay. Any question with this? This three thing: frequency, amplitude, and, and uh, weight shape. Next to that, how would you connect this? thing to the oscilloscope. Oscilloscope has got a probe. Can you catch it and hold it? Yeah, for everybody. This is the terminal where, listen, this is the terminal where we are feeding the signal of the oscilloscope. These different signals. We can, we can observe it here. We can feed this here through the oscilloscope, right? Hey, listen, I'm telling you what. Some people staying backside and they talk. And these are those people, they do poor performance in the exam. And I'm telling you, I, I, you are uh, like, I can notice you, right? And sometimes I do not make me enemy. I don't want to be enemy of anyone. So you do not do anything that really uh, makes you feeling uncomfortable in the exam hall. That is one thing. Another thing is, do you understand, uh, like, once you're coming to that okay. class, that means you should put your full attention to me. Then, if I ask questions, that will be easier to you. Because uh, you can remember that that's what was told. Yes. But if you stay back there and thinking something mew mew, that's the different issue. If you have thinking like mew mew, you go outside, think it, right? Add it together. Doesn't matter. You are welcome. But you have to get backside for that. I mean, out of the class. <coughs> I don't want anyone talking backside. OK, listen. So this is called feeder. feeder. <laughs> exactly. We are feeding the signal, feeder. right? Sometimes those who are connected with babies. You know how feeder is looking like, and it is just the. I mean, there are at the toe end, the top. That is called chuchu. <laughs> right. So this time we do not tell it chuchu. It's the uh, okay. Then the current. There are two terminals. One terminal is higher potential. This is high voltage. Okay, put it down. Uh, there is a higher potential terminal. Right. Higher potential terminal, which is um, higher potential terminal. What? Higher potential terminal, is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do not make me confused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm not writing it. <laughs> I'm showing it here. Higher potential means this one is the higher potential terminal. Yes, sir. And that's the zero. This is the lower potential. Yes, sir. So we to get the total figure out, we have to place one terminal here, another terminal here. Then across this, we'll get a total uh, wave shape. Okay. So in every power supply, there is a lower potential that we call ground, ZNE, right? Which is zero volt. And anything greater than that is higher potential. It might be 220, it might be 5, 10, even, even anything. Do you understand? So that's what we know as um, power supply. Oh, so suppose example, for example, this one is the higher potential, this one is the lower potential. So these two terminal, I mean that this one is called base lit, and this one is the bypassing lit, right? It's not. Some some people say Peter. It's not Peter. It's Peter. Even I, I heard it a few days ago. Some someone maybe they are not educated enough to tell it, but they use it Peter. It's not Pete. It's Pete. Fed, right? I'm feeding somebody. So this is base bed, and this one is the bypassing bed. So base bed is connected to the higher potential, whatever the value is. And the bypassing bed, this one, is connected to the low base, I mean, a ground, lower potential. So that, that will be question for me. And this uh, feeder is connected to this pole. OK? You understand? Yes. Any question? Sir, can I connect you to any any one? Okay, question? okay. Let, let me let me introduce you this. Hold it. Listen, here we have another port. Can you see that? Yes, yes sir. This port is basically you have another option of feeding another uh, another feeder like this to show input and out, output both together in this stream. This is exactly in a stream. You would see these different wave shapes here. You understand? Is this my phone ringing? Maybe. Okay. Anyway, any question based on that? Sir, explain this again, sir. This is this is oscilloscope feeder. We are feeding the signal here in, and that signal is displayed here. Yes. Understand? Yes. So this is called bypassing lit, and this is base lit. Base that means this is the base, and it is standing uh, on it. And bypass that means it's coming uh, side. Side. That's a bypass. Right? Yes. There is a bypass road. <laughs> Size. Let us go in parallel to the Dhaka city. Go there. Uh. Next to that is, listen. I'm introducing with something like this. That That's what we'll be using. Where is the duster? Somebody take it. Oh, duster is? OK, listen. Then I've got duster. Is that OK? Yes. Not perfect. Okay, anyway, uh, let's see. Now, the first thing we'll be using for each and every experiment will be this. There will be question from it. I'm indicating for each and every group from where there might be question. This is called transformer. That, yeah, transformer is a device that transform power. You cannot say the convert power. Yes. Transform. It's transforming power. That what? So transformer is device is a device that transform power from a higher potential to lower potential. 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 So higher potential is like um, okay. Transformer can be used for both to, con to transform power from the higher potential to lower even to lower to the higher. Yeah. Both is possible. <laughs> But listen, do we generally do use in our power supply unit to step down yes, so that means the to higher voltage to the lower voltage? Because majority electronics, they use low voltage. And our line voltage is too high. So we are just stepping it down to some, uh, I mean, low voltage. OK? Do you understand for now? Yes. So let's see how transformer works. So it has got a primary and a secondary. Can you see this one? This is how transformer looks like. It has got a primary and a secondary, right? Primary and secondary. Can you see there is a winding? Yes. So this is how it is symbolized. Do you see that? So this is the sy uh, yeah, I mean symbol of the transformer. And this one is uh, the physical shape of the transformer. 
So this one is uh, you can take as a primary. This one is a secondary. secondary. Okay. Now let's say how it works. <coughs> At the primary, okay, how it transforms the power? Why should not we say that converts the power? It transforms because let's say power is measured in what, right? Power is measured in what? 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 Say for example, there will be 30 watt power. Needs to be transformed here. It will remain 30 watt. <clears throat> but here the power was <clears throat> high, vo high voltage. Like what means what? W is equal to voltage yeah. current. <coughs> that means this is the multiplication of voltage and current. current. So <clears throat> as our body is composed of lipid and protein. protein. Right? If you have some food which is uh, like uh, uh, something bread or something like which is polysaccharide, that doesn't help you in building your body. Right? So maybe me should have something uh, what? Protein and lipid. Something like that. You too. Okay, listen. <laughs> so what makes it uh, power? The multiplication of voltage and current. So 30 watt you can make it with 60 volt into 0.5 ampere. So that makes 30 watt. But voltage is 60. But you have a device that device takes the power at 12 volt. So that means you have to somehow we cannot use potentiometer here. We have learned about potentiometer. Potentiometer consumes power. Okay, maybe there was a 30 volt. Uh, 30. I've taken. Uh, can, she can take. She can take some uh, 10. So I'm consuming some 20, and this 10 is there delivered. So that is one issue. That is how potentiometer works. But here we have. It is not consuming any. 30 watt was there. 30 watt will be there at the secondary as well. I mean delivered. So, but this 30 watt was at a higher potential. And this 30 watt we we need. A 12 volt. So we make it 12 volt. That makes to maintain 30. 2.5. We need 2.5 ampere. Ampere. That means as the voltage gets down, the current increases and makes the total power, power. equal. Do you understand? Any question? No. Everything is clear. Yes. Okay. Now, how to make this transformer? How, okay, how it works? We know that it, it, it transforms power. It transforms. So transform is a device that transforms power from higher potential to lower <coughs> potential or from lower potential to higher potential. Okay, it depends. If we use this one as a primary and it give 12 volt, we get 60 volt out of That's called step up transform. And so transform are of two types, step up and step down. If we uh, <coughs> If we step the voltage down to low voltage, step down. then it's called step down. step down. And if we uh, make some low voltage stepping up to some higher voltage, that's called step, step, step up. up transfer. But listen, it's all about number of turns, uh, turn ratio between primary and secondary. Okay, listen how it works. For example, this is the primary. You are just making a transformer for now. It's easy, easy, easy to make. How to make it? First take. A piece of wire that might be the copper wire. A piece of wire, it's a copper wire. So if you have a primary, maybe this is uh, this this is what I will use as a primary. Metal. So at the outer side will be the primary, at the inner side will be the secondary. So somehow I'm just making turns. These are the terms. So these two wire will be the primary. And between these two, I have made maybe 60 turns here. I have, I have given 60 turns. Say for example, right? Yes. So imagine that there is 60 turns. So these 60 turns I have given for primary and I have connected 60 volt power supply here. Okay, so that means how many turn, uh, how many volts per turn for now? One, 60 one. turn is given for 60 volt. One, 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 one power, power one. One, right? One, so if I need some 10 volt here, or 12 volt. How many turns I have to place at the secondary? 10, 10, 10, 10. So you job will be here one volt per turn. So you need 12 volt at the secondary. So in the inner side, you should have some 12 turns. 12 turn. 
and take the wire out. So then if you connect 60 volt, 12 volt will be output. output. And this 60 volt will be input. That is how, depending on the number of turn, <coughs> we can say, uh, I mean, uh, step up or step down the transform voltage. Transform Do you understand? Yes. yes. Okay. So there will be question that how can you step up or step, step down, down the <laughs> transformer <laughs> potential, making the power set? Your answer will be based on number of turn. Increasing number of turn or decreasing number of turn, we can have different potentials. You understand? <laughs> yes, obviously. Let us let me explain it. In the transformer, if you look at the transformer, you will always see, see that in the step down transformer, the secondary wires are, are <laughs> lengthened up. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, they, they are, uh, they are, their yeah, depth is higher than this wire. This wire is too uh, tiny, and the depth of the secondary wire, if we use primary wire this, then we have to use secondary wire this. The depth will be this, maybe more than double. Because the, this wire has got much more current carrying capability, uh, ability, capability than this one. So once current is increasing, you should have designed your wire in a way that it, uh, it, it is uh, like it can carry it safely. If you have a uh, similar wire here, then this wire will burn out because there are more currents that will cause more heat and make the wires burning out. You understand? So Any question? One more time. I told that uh, at the secondary, you see as they step down just from what happens, power demand same. But with the same power here, the voltage was too high and current was too low, no. right? <coughs> so do you, do, have you ever uh, th thought that wh why from Chijang to Dhaka, the current was, uh, the power was delivered, transmitted at 200 kilovolt. 200 kilovolt means 200 into 1000 volt. That means 2 lakhs volt. And that 2 lakhs volt is a step down to some 220 volt. How many times it is stepping down? So why it is uh, it is produced at 220? Then, then it is stepping up and yeah. transmit. Why it is done? Why do we need to step up the voltage? Because once you are stepping up the voltage, you then the current is coming down. You know what? Well, yeah, if I am making it 20, 120 volt, it will be 0 0.25 ampere, right? So current is getting down. And if you uh, if you make your current less, then you have you can use very tiny wire. Then the, you have to, uh, you, the, the, the copper wire price is too high. So then you can have less price in buying wires, right? And less amount of loss. Because once there is more current, more heat will be produced, more power will be lost. So that is how the, the power is transmitted at a very high voltage. Yes. Okay? Okay. So I don't think we'll be uh, going for much thing, uh, but next class we'll go for experiment, but I will explain uh, the main How is it? parameter of the experiment. Uh, why I, I have I explained? Because we'll use these things. Okay, this is the secondary of this transformer. Yes. Which one? I do not understand. Transformer, the device, okay, the, oh, okay, listen. That's okay. You device, if you connect maybe some a, a fan, a light, and a, another device, maybe television, you're connecting in parallel. So the current will get divided. Some current will come here, some current will get there, some current. So each device has got some current taking. If you <coughs> make the fan moving more faster, that is more current will draw. If you, uh, uh, this line is taking less current than the fan. So every device, this current is getting divided. It's not no longer remaining same. Right? It, it will take only up to which it will use. It will not take no, more than that. You understand? That's why the use of potential. Yeah. Any any question? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Listen. Maybe uh, these lines, these lines, 220 volt is there, right? Sir, Think about. Current flow, sir. It is current flow. It is either sir, sir, two point five, sir. It is two lakh, sir, one point five. It is sir, device, sir, current. Okay, 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 okay. Listen. Maybe this device needs some. 200 
this divide means okay what what is the power 2.5 now so the, 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 this requires some 1 milliampere yeah. 1 ampere this takes some 1 ampere this takes 0.5 ampere for example right but somehow listen somehow you have to set a register here that register will step um, i mean uh, make this current slower and as even in computer IC will work the same. I explained in the very first class that your IC might take up 300 milliampere current. And you have to connect a resistor such a way you are delivering it at 5 volt, right? I explained it at the first class that you uh, IC will run at 300 milliampere. So you have to set SAS value, a, a, a resistor of SAS value that will allow at 5 volt. So how do you R is equal to V over I? So you have to place V over there and I will be something 300. So if you make this two ratio, the R value we will find. And place that R here. And that R will allow only that amount of current that is safe and that is specified. That is why every equipment has got a specification current. Now is that clear? This line has got more current, doesn't matter. You device. Uh, you have to make sure that only that amount of current is flowing that is required here. And you can make sure it by placing a resistor. By making ratio between how much current is required and what voltage, that what voltage we are providing that current. For now, is that clear? Yes. Oh. Now, uh, what is the time for now? 10 minutes left. Ten minutes. Okay, I think uh, if no more students, then uh, I, I can sum it up, right? So next week, we, your job will be to submit the group. everything, group name, everything. everything, money and group name, everything. We will do. And listen, I'm telling you, I have got some request over Facebook. The request was about the request was about uh, like making you people are using different names. If you are Introduce yourself because it, it is always bothering. I mean, it, it, the